So I want to spend a few minutes talking about Black Clover because there is an issue for sure that I have with Black Clover at this point in time in my read through of the series from chapter one. So if you don't know, I've been reading through the entirety of Black Clover from chapter one on Twitch and also saving those VODs on my YouTube channel that's called Cole Requiem. Link in the box below to both. But I've been reading through Black Clover from chapter one and the current chapter that I've read right now is chapter 111. So next stream, I'll start chapter 112 for Black Clover. And I just finished the main arc of the, the witch's arc essentially. Now. In its totality so far, I have been enjoying Black Clover. Like, you know, when I don't like something, when I think something's really sus, I will let you know, like, I don't like this for this, that, and this, and that, and this, and that reason. But I have really been enjoying Black Clover, whether it is the Asta and you know relationship, which continues to be very, very healthy. That rivalry is very healthy. I'm not gonna try and bring you down, only elevate you, but I'm gonna elevate even further than that. Like it is a genuinely healthy, refreshing shonen dynamic between Asta and Yuno. Compared to a lot of other shonen rivalries, I would say it is absolutely one of the healthiest and one of the best that I've seen. Yami continues to be the top end Sigma male of the verse. He is the Chad among Chads. Yami continues to be a stud, surpass your limits, and that applies to me as well. Yami talks the talk and he walks the walk, and you love to see it, you really damn do. And then seeing this stuff with Yami and Rosalie right now is pretty funny, it's pretty ooh woo. And then how Vanessa's not coming to the fray as well in her own, I like this. I like how there's some competition now when it comes to Yami. Uh, Cause you, on Asta's side, you have Noel, you have Mimosa and so on. Now with Yami, you have, Rosalie, Vanessa, so it's pretty damn fun to see that play out. And speaking of the Black Bulls, so far they've been pretty damn dope. As of late, Finra and Vanessa have been really good. Noelle, with her overall character plot, has gone relatively deeper as of late because we have the whole thing about her mother now, which we get now via the late introduction to the series, a pretty wild woman, no doubt about that, Mario Leona. She is, <laughs> yo, <laughs> Listen, during the streams, some guy said she's the queen. I, mm, I don't know, all right, if you pull your grace for Mario Leona, I'm, I don't know about that, but she is pretty intense. She is this series' Kenpachi Zaraki. She is intense, and just like Yami, in many respects, surpassed her limits. Finding out that she's actually stronger than Fuego Leon, but because of her own personal reasons, wasn't the captain of the Crimson Lion Kings and yada, 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 She's gonna be very fascinating in the future. I, I don't doubt for a second. So I'm looking forward to see what she's offering in the future for Black Clover without question. And then also, for this series, the world building so far, it's been pretty solid. Actually, relatively good uh, in many respects so far when it comes to the world building. And they're building for a lot of major things. We just got stuff about the elves and also the first wizard king, the diamond kingdom, sprinkles of the spade kingdom. So there is some pretty solid world building in Black Clover without a doubt. But there is one main issue that I have right now, Black Clover. It's the villains. There's not a good one. There's not a good villain at this point in time. And I'm 112 chapters into the series. The villains so far are very basic, very cookie cutter characters. They lack a lot of depth. When you let's say compare it to a lot of villains at the beginning of the series, of the Shonen series, like for example, Arlong in One Piece, you can easily argue that Arlong is a better villain than all the villains that I've seen so far in Black Clover. And I think villains are very important overall for a Shonen series, but without a doubt. Black Clover has yet to produce a good villain. Not a great villain, just someone that's good. Most of these guys so far are okay to subpar to bleh. Like, okay, this was, huh? Like, so okay, Mars was all right. He was all right, not necessarily that great, but he was okay. There was some potential there. As a villain, boy, I'm now in the series, Mars is actually no longer a villain, he's now a good guy, basically. The guy with the eye patch, he, what, what's his name? Him, he, no. I mean, the fact that I forget his name, in of itself, for me, is a sign that he's not a good villain, period. But when I was reading it, folks did say that, okay, well, this guy is like some low tier guy, he, he, he doesn't really matter, fair enough, fine. And the same goes to Sally as well. Sally, she fire, don't, don't get me wrong, she fire, absolutely. But she's not a good villain. 
no. At this point in time around the series, she's not a good villain. Again, latest chapter I've read, 111, not a good villain. Sally, the guy with the eye patch, Mars, they're not good villains, period. Then you get to like the bigger echelon villains so far, uh, Veto and Fauna. Fauna, hatred, 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 hatred. I hate, no, I hate, I can hate, 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 hate. And the fact that Fauna was actually the Fauna that Mars knew way back when, so, and now she's a good guy. Uh, oh, okay, like Fauna, no. Nah. Like Fauna's actually like pretty mid, pretty mid, a five out of 10. And then Veto, albeit it was cool, albeit it was doing some pretty beastly things, no pun intended, no, make no mistake. He was doing some previous things with his abilities and so on. And then it was suddenly off the gate, like destroying the entire army on the coast and all kind of stuff. Veto, despair, 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 pair, 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 pairs. Pairs with this guy. I'm not, no. Like in the grand scheme of shonen villainy, I think he's very forgettable. I think he's, oh, okay, uh, uh. And then the witch queen, when she did her heel turn, uh, Okay, I mean, it was, and she was mid as well. Actually, I was surprised, actually, when she did her heel turn, and then she was like, I'm going to execute all these people, and then out comes Vanessa with the red thread of fate, and all kind of stuff. I'm like, eh. The Witch Queen was also very mid, whatever. I, I didn't really care. When it comes to villainy, Black Clover is lacking, yo. I ain't going to front. It has really good components. And again, I'm a hundred chapters plus deep into the series, and I'm still waiting. I'm still checking my watch like, yo, where are these good villains? I've been waiting for a very long time, and I'm not seeing a single good villain, like a really good villain. Not seeing it. So I need to see first a good villain, then I need to see a great villain. And we're very far from that. We are very far from that. At this point in time, I'd argue, I think we're far from that. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's right around the corner. But I have my doubts. I, I do. And basically, I have to bank on Lich. I have to bank on Lich for being like that dude. Where like when it comes to villainy, Lich is like the like okay. Now Black Clover has really put its foot into the realm of we have some good villains. But so far, I mean hopefully. Hopefully I'm proven wrong relatively quickly. Cause I want to be proven wrong. I want a good villain, and I'm hoping that Lich or someone sooner, whoever's gonna pull out and be like, yo, we got some deep lore, we got some really substantive content for this villain, not just hate, 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 despair, 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 I was brainwashed, no, 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 no. We have some real substantive meat for a villain, coming out like he's Soka, and you're like, damn, whoa. Okay, that's maybe two of a bar. Coming out like Arlong. <laughs> Just coming out like Arlong, please. Cause I would argue so far, none of the villains I've seen in Black Clover are on Arlong's level. And, and I'll keep it a buck, okay? I'll keep it a buck. Like let alone someone like Zabuza. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. No, no, no. Let's say someone like Stain from MHA. <laughs> there are no stains. There are no stains. Which normally is actually a good thing, because you want these things. Wait, 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 you get my point. <laughs> you get my point, people. There are no villains on these levels right now in Black Clover. There's not. And this, I think, is right, again, 100 plus chapters deep. I'm waiting for that really good, or at least good villain for Black Clover to really solidify my enjoyment of the series. And I'm hoping, and I'm praying, that that good villain is right around the corner. So only time to tell. We'll have to wait and see on the next read through for Black Clover, which you'll see in the Cole Requiem channel. Once again, link in the box below. Let me know your stance on the subject matter at hand. I'm going to see y'all later. You guys and gals, take it easy. Stay safe. Have a nice one.